Guys and gals, in this video, we're going to continue where we left off in our last video, and we're going to learn specifically about a tool called Offset, which allows us to draw a shape from an existing surface inside of it or outside of it. And then we're going to use the push-pull button, not to so much extrude or to pull up, but to actually cut away. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go, and it doesn't really matter if I'm in my 3D view or if I'm on top right now because this should work in either one. Uh, the one thing that I want you to know is that usually when I draw things, I usually draw them on my top view, my front view, um, and the reason why I do that is so that they don't end up going like across planes. Um, and then the other part is when I go to make them 3D, I usually go into the isometric view so I can see what I'm push pulling and see it growing and, and uh, extruding that way. Now today though, going into our offset, first of all, we're gonna we're gonna click this this button right here. It starts with your push pull tool or the push pull tool group, and then we're gonna click on offset. Now this time when we go over a surface, what's gonna happen is the same thing as the the push pull. It highlights it. Um, but what's different now is when I click on this, I either want to slide in or slide out. All right, so I'm going to slide in for all my shapes today. And what it's doing is it's making a, sh a, a, a geometry or a shape from the existing shape. And it's telling me how far do you want to offset it inside or outside of the existing dimension. Um, and we're going to go right away here just uh, 10 millimeters. Enter. All right, and we can do this, get a little practice for all of our shapes. So on that piece, um, I'm gonna hit escape so I have the edge instead of the surface by accident. All right, and then 10, and then 10. And I just did the, that back one a little different because I stepped on the edge instead of the surface to see if anything differently or different happens there. Okay, now that was just for my first set. And what we're going to do with our first set now is after we make our offset, we are going to push pull um, the area around the offset down to see that that middle portion stand taller. So if I go to my push pull tool, once again, it's an offset now. Now when I select this, um, I want to push pull it down. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go down about halfway. Um, I believe this is about, this is 50 millimeters we pull out of these, so if I go halfway, it'd be 25. Um, so if I click and I move, and I click, I just want to type in 25. Enter. And that will move that down halfway. Once again, my circle, the same thing, selecting that surface, sliding down, typing in the number 25, and hitting return or enter. And then lastly, doing the same thing with my group here of triangles 25 enter now a few things that happen every once in a while is that we click and the way that the thing that happens is we didn't quite get that 25 in there if you ever end up where it just looks different than the other ones what you want to do is you want to edit undo so if I come in and I found out that this was not quite the way it was supposed to be looking, I'd want to edit undo to get back to that previous step and then try the step again. All right. Um, the push pull tool does work by difference. And the idea that if I were to come down here now and I'm 25 millimeters below and I wanted this to be half of that or up further, I could go up here and click and move up and type in 10, enter. And then that would be 15 uh, distance as far as uh, millimeters down versus 25. Once again, I want this at 25 though, so I'm going to click, slide down. I could also go on this other surface that's already 25 and click, and that will make that one the right distance. All right. Um, thanks for watching this video. I hope it kind of helps out. Once again, make sure you hit save if yours has not automatically saved for you. Thanks for watching.